Hello and welcome to another episode of abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss the new changes which has came in December 2023 we are going to discuss one of the feature and the feature which we are going to discuss today is more styling options for column and bar charts if you click down on this details you will see that there are few new options which has come in and one of them has been displayed also here so we have the apply setting to all series transparency control we can make the charts little bit transparent you can observe that the color is little bit transparent border customization layout we have renamed the spacing card to be the new layout card relocated the familiar reverse order toggle that allows you to invert the series and introduce sort by values really important sort by values space between category space between series and with the cluster column bar you will now have option to erode or explode the stack series now this is really important the sort by value is something you are asking for long especially in stacked bar and we are going to look at it advanced ribbon setting highlight a series or create visual continuity with an array of options including matching series or choose color selection transparency border matching to the color selection border width and border spacing etc so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump onto the power bi and showcase you how you can leverage these new features so i am on the power bi let me showcase you the model which i'm using my model contains sales table joined with dimension table like date item geography and customer and all the joints are one too many single direction so this is my configuration and with this configuration i'm going to create first of all a clustered column bar visual and then we are going to also experiment with the stacked bar visual so let me bring in the clustered column bar and in the clustered column bar i'm going to bring in brand from item on x axis net major my common net major which i am using on y axis and let's start with this so we have now net by brand visual and with the december i have this flexibility to bring in this builder visual which i have already enabled in the settings and because of that i will have that classical look which is also part of the december 2023 release so i have taken up that now i need the prop format and the format option is available in in this right bar it is also available on site the on the visual uh, where i can click on that brush sign and use more option in both the case it will come now when you scroll down to the columns you start seeing the color which is previously also present transparency something which you can uh, increase now border now border you can see there is a border now here and let me increase the width of the border so that you can see it clearly now you can see the width of the border pretty clearly now there is a option match column color this is the option match column color what it will do is it will actually get the color which is matching with that so i have increased the transparency now, now i have matched the border color also transparency width now let's go to the layout reverse order and sort by value is not applicable here right now once we add the legend we'll see now space between the categories as you can see there is space between the category i can increase and or i can make it zero so it will become like a continuous bar or i can increase it based on the requirement or decrease it based on the requirement so that is another feature which is going to help us out by making it more visually effective so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add category as legend here Now the moment I added category as a legend, the you can see that the reverse order and sort by value options are also enabled. Okay, and we still have and then for all the series I can individually take some decisions also, like the border and the transparency I can control individually and definitely colors is something which I can always do individually. we don't have a conditional formatting available once we use the legend now here what i can do is i can reduce the space between the categories 
okay now sort by value now look at these values here is there an order right now and this is something you were asking for now i can sort on brand one two three four and or on the total value so right now if you go on the three dots it is saying sort by net it means brand eight has the highest net that's what it was isn't it when we didn't have the category and let me remove it and showcase to you brand eight has highest net but once i bring in category i'm fine brand eight having the first value based on the net but inside the brand eight i want to sort it again previously there was no option for that now what we can do is we can say sort by value so in the moment we done the sort by value the sorting has been done for each each of them look at this one now brand nine have one of the value which is really big what next you can do is reverse order reverse order means whatever order we have got like it was descending so now the order has been reversed to ascending so these are the features which has been added other than that definitely label has been improved this time around uh, and we got uh, details into the label uh, which we will experiment in next video now uh, this this is column bar chart for you let me rename it as column and let me duplicate this now once i duplicate this i'll go ahead and make it as a stacked column chart the moment i do stacked column chart and i go down to the properties again color we will have the same property transparency let me increase a little bit more transparency this time border i want a border match color yes i want transparency in the border also i can have width is fine reverse order now this let me switch it off previously this was like this you know whenever you come to a stacked bar visual this is like this and the one of the question you used to ask how do i do the internal sorting i'm fine i'm still getting the brand first value but how do i sort inside the brand one so now you have option you can say sort by value it will get sorted and so now the smallest is at the bottom largest is at the top and now then you can do the reverse order once you do the reverse order the largest is at the bottom it also depend on the what kind of sorting you have on the visual now space between the categories i i made i have given a little bit of space so it looks better and then space between the series this was something which is not available previously now you you have observed this actually this is the space which is getting created so and then series explosion what it can do is basically it will actually try to adjust to the best possible space so one of the feature we have to explore in details is the data labels but i can simply enable it and you can see that we have the data labels and then we have few more things like title coming in now we have to enable the overflow text once we have the title and then we have to see how much we want um, the space to be given now this is category itself is available here now in the title i have given series name i can give some other things also then we have value then we have a detail column which also can come in we can add a detail column also i can i i can add a gross or i can add percentage of total so in this manner we can have more details available now all these need to be adjusted in terms of font in terms of size to best suit that and similarly when you go here and make it tagged bar you can see some of those things coming and then there is an adjustment and we will discuss in a separate video uh, what are the various options we have for the label so you have learned these are the new features which has came in and which allows you to now create much better visual experience for your end users and some of the options which you were waiting for in the past are now available with you so these are the some of the features you were waiting for in the past why don't you go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video thank you